I like the budget friendly smartphone market as this is the ideal indicator of how much the smartphone industry has evolved in the past couple of years. In today's episode I will talk about the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11. The version I have here is the dual sim 4GB twilight blue one. In the package, like with most smartphones nowadays, you will get besides the device a SIM tray removal tool, a clear phone case, some documentation and warranty information. A 33 watt USB A charger with fast charging, and a USB A to USB C charging and data cable. In the front of the device, you will notice the punch hole design of the 30 megapixel f2.4 selfie camera, surrounded by a 6.43 inch 90Hz AMOLED display with a pre applied film screen protector. The bottom of the phone houses a downwards firing speaker, a USB Type C port, and a microphone port. While on the top of the device, you will find a 3.5mm jack a second upwards firing speaker, an infrared port and a second microphone. A must have feature in all modern smartphone devices is the fingerprint sensor that in this case is located on the side power button. Not the best implementation from my point of view but it does the job. In the battery department the Redmi Note 11 stands strong with its 5000 mAh LiPo battery which should help you get through a couple of days depending also on your usage. Although this is a budget phone and I wasn't expecting a score that would break any ranking, I ran the Antutu benchmark to see how this device would perform compared to the more expensive models. Around 15 minutes later, this is the result compared to the top 3 best performing devices according to this benchmark. Low light conditions will pose quite a challenge for the selfie camera, which has a maximum video resolution of 1080p at 13fps, the footage being very noisy. The rear main camera will also struggle in low light and the lack of optical or at least digital stabilization means that every little bump or shake will show in your footage. Stabilizing the phone is the key to a decent photo or video. During the daytime on the other hand, both the 50 megapixel f1.8 main camera and the selfie camera will deliver better results. With an accessible price and decent features, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 is a good bang for the buck and if you can get around the lack of video stabilization, it might just be a good alternative for your next budget smartphone.